fumble it, I get the bag and flip it and tumble it Straight out the lot, 300 cash, and the car came with a blender The mama with that, and she got ass, and she gon' fuck up a bag Cut that off, cut that off, cut that off What do you mean you get the bag and fumble it? I get the bag and flip it and tumble it Nigga, both y'all going to jail <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for y'all sales, man, for being here tonight, man. Clap it up one more time. Please do this. Hey, look. I can't see no motherfucker. You gotta watch a motherfucker in the dark because niggas will go in your pocket. Hey, surely will, man. Straight up. Give it up for me. I just got back from California. Please clap it up for that. And Chippewa. Ah. <laughs> Get me in from the south side. <laughs> I was skating down 170. Like, nigga, I'm gonna get there. You hear me? Flying, you heard me crying high, man. I'm glad y'all came out because crime is too motherfucking high to even be going to go to work. It is, man. Crime is high. Crime gonna be high to the population. <laughs> then sometimes I feel like the ghost. I ain't lying, crime so motherfucking high. I just ride down the street with my gun out the window. I'm like, what's on your mind? I'm like, niggas, it's on my mind. Don't fuck with me. For real, don't fuck around, man. Straight up. <laughs> It's crazy, man. We really gotta talk about this shit, black people. We gotta start directing our energy in a good direction. For real, when our people get killed, man, hey, the love, I, I see the love. You can tell all the love is out there, but the amount of teddy bears that's out there, I'm like, damn. I rolled down the street, I saw a pile taller than me. I'm like, damn, all the people love, dude. I got around on one of the can, I saw one bird. I'm like, come on, did nobody love uh. this dude right here, man? <laughs> I went around the crowd on the corner, grab one, try to take it around. And why the nigga run up and talk to man, get the fuck off my pot of gray. So I'm like, nigga, this is Dr. King. <laughs> Go on down and make them up turn into the rock road. You will see the grave site. <laughs> Straight up. America, man, is full of shit. America. Where panhandling has become the new nine to five. Everybody wants to change. Don't Amen. They, man? You can tell, man, ain't no really no homeless people no more, man. You gotta kinda like we do these motherfuckers. Everybody just out there like this. I'm like, come on, man, this shit crazy. People all on 70 and Union. A motherfucker was out there just standing out there with a, a sign that just said, help me please. And it had like three P's and three S's. And I'm like, hey, man, you could have put out an application. You really want this shit. Hey, no. I turned down King Sideway one day, and I had to respect dude. This is a dude, an old man out there with a baby courage with all fruit in her. I said, damn, mm -hmm. I busted you. I was like, damn, you selling fruit? He's like, and it got seeds. And I said, how much you want with a watermelon? <laughs> I don't want nothing without no seeds. I even go to Snooks and they got seeds that you. You got the seeds, man. Tip me the seeds. <laughs> man, it make hard for the elders to even believe us anymore, man. The elders don't even want to help out. They would be the first people that would give you something. I'm in front of the grocery store the other day waiting on my mama to pull up so I can go with her grocery shopping. I have manners, you know, with the elders walking, I speak. She walked up, I'm like, good morning. She's like, baby, I ain't got no change. I need to buy a job. Uh, I ain't speaking, man. I really do have manners. I'm with uh, Got the wrong person. Yeah. I ain't got no change. Well, they shoot you down, man. For real. <laughs> For real, man, we gotta start, we gotta start doing something different. We do, man. For real. Black people, man, I like how when the next joke ain't come, y'all just get quiet like nigga, get to the next one. <laughs> you fuck on myself and think you a damn battle. Let me come out there and look at you, motherfucker. I see y'all. <laughs> nigga, get to the next one. You ain't gonna put me up on the pressure shit. Man, I'm about 50 <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> shit, you motherfucker sold out. I wish a motherfucker would try to fuck with me. Man, we have to show nigga packed. <laughs> Use y'all have free drinks, you damn right. And we got burgers out there, fat burgers doing their thing, and even whatever. For real. Straight up, man. The more we talk about the fifth element of hip hop, stand up comedy is the fifth element of hip hop, man. It is, man. You got to think about that shit, because hip hop, we deal with vibration. We deal with, you know, different types of shit. You dance, you do all this. Everything okay over there? I got a light, but who is that? <laughs> Fucking around, man. What you doing? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure, man, you ain't right here still in these motherfucking people in church and shit. You know it's some nice shit, but we're gonna know how to act, you hear me? Before we walk up out of here. I had a stool up, but I said, I guess they said, fuck me. <laughs> Put me up over in this nice ass corporate, I brought this from home. I really made this shit look good, didn't I? I created some shit up here. <laughs> yeah. I'm growing up, man. I feel good about myself, man. I'm full time about them growing up. I'm getting tall. <laughs> right, right. Shut up. 
come here with your bullshit, man. I'm telling you, you're gonna send your ass back down the page. <laughs> know your place ain't right. Motherfucker, you see it around the police? Damn right it's around the police. Nigga, just slide through. Fuck <laughs> me boo and shit, man, for real. Shots out to all the cush smokers. I smell your ass. I can't see, but I smell you. I'm gonna just come to anywhere. I smell like anything. My goodness, man. I feel good, man. I do, man. I'm straight up, because I feel good. Y'all here, I'm here. People been inboxing me. What's the address? Bitch, you see a thousand flies with my face big as a motherfucker. You mean tell me you don't see the address on there? Here we go. Hey, man, look, this was it. I know where you from, you from the north side. These <laughs> 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 motherfuckers is good. They ain't been hanging the plot and fuck them just fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just want to fuck with me. Can we help you? We got security. <laughs> Nigga, they'll put your ass out and fuck around. For real. We got some cats in from out of town, man. They came to fuck with me, man. We're going to have a good time, man. We're going to turn this motherfucker up. Y'all drink up, man. Please tip the, the white lady. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? I tried to put a black bitch in there. They was like, no, we don't know. I'm like, what the fuck is going on, man? You can think the sister can't sit right there and use the money, too. They can put that white bitch. She can't. You should strap, too. Hey, look. I walked past. I said, damn, you know, we got all this black power. <laughs> Double look. I said, damn. I don't know what's going on with that, man. White women today, they can't possibly build up like sisters, man. They got to be injecting themselves or something, man. But <laughs> I'm saying that shit crazy, man. I be out in the grocery store, like, damn, man, what the fuck? But you don't know, black power want to protest, <laughs> man. We gonna kick this shit off, man. My first dude, man, he in from Arkansas, man. He came down, man. He said, "Mom, I'm coming to fuck with you. I'm grinding, man. If y'all ready to have a good time, let me hear you say, hell yeah." yeah. yeah. I said, let me hear you say, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. My dude, man, came all the way in from Little Rock, Arkansas, man. Came over to the guest spot to show y'all some love, show y'all what he got. I want y'all to put y'all hands together for a comedian radio in the building. Y'all put y'all hands together. <laughs> Stuff. I gotta like it because my son's trying to be a rapper. He's 42, but uh, <laughs> I gotta support him. You know, you, you want your kids to be, you know, I got one son, big as hell, tall dude. And uh, my partner's always fucking with me. Hey man, you play football? I said, no, I ain't pushing him, let him do his thing. You know, when you wanna play, you'll play. Came home one day, he said, Dad, I made the team. I said, that's what I'm talking about. I called all my boys. Yes, right, nigga, he on the team. We going to the next game this week. We game came, went to the game. We sitting there. I see everybody run out there. I ain't see my boy. I'm like, God damn. Then I saw the Chili's run out there. And I saw him. Hey, okay! This a bitch. You made the team all right. The wrong team, nigga. She was the drill team. That's all right. Oh, let me explain to y'all my name, because I know y'all looking at me like, look at this big ass. That ain't no radio, that's a boom box. <laughs> I called myself radio because I was in the Navy. When you go into the Navy, you have to still your name on your clothes. It's your last name first, first initial second, middle initial last. My name is Dwight O'Neill Ray, which comes out Ray D.O. And that's why I called myself radio. Oh, okay. And I know because this lady looking at me like, damn, Cuba Good Jr. show, let itself go. <laughs> I know I am not retarded. <laughs> It'd be cool to be retarded, but shit. Man, as y'all can tell, I'm a little overweight. Say right now, brother, you're in shape, stay in shape. Because I'm overweight and a little older. And you know what? Getting older is fucking with me. Because I still, in my mind, I still think I can do the shit I did when I was young. I met this lady. We go out, we gonna kick it, right? I'm trying to impress her ass. I pick her up about 3.30. We go out, we go dancing, we go eat, we catch a movie. I don't get her ass back home till 3.30 in the morning. I ain't hung out like that since back in the day. So she looking at me, she said, look at you, you hold out. I'm going to give you an opportunity that I don't normally do. I'm going to let you sleep with me on the first day. Uh -huh. That's right, that's right. Uh -huh. Before I get to sleep. Uh -huh. I'm like, that's what we're talking about, baby. The money paid off, well spent. <laughs> we get in there and get naked, get in the bed. I'm going to tell y'all right now, fellas, you can high five me later. That's the best goddamn sleep I've had in weeks. <laughs> well, no fucking going on, just all sleeping. All you could do was... That's her ass, because I had my CPAP machine on. 
Uh -huh. Like, God damn, man. <laughs> she was snoring so loud, the only way we could get some rest was we had to pass the seatbelt machine back and forth like a joint. <laughs> Real cool. <laughs> This is, I'm serious, man. This is the, it, but you know what? It don't stop me from doing nothing. I only think about it when me and my girl get freaky. We have to come up with new clever ways. And me and my girl have been together for a long time. So we decided to do the little kinky, uh, uh, you know, spice shit up. We put the mirrors on the wall and the mirrors on the ceiling. That's right. If you fat, don't do this. <laughs> we doing it. I'm giving her my best seesaw. Y'all know what that is, isn't it? You know what? We not call it seesaw because I look over at the mirror on the side, and that's when we look like a big ass seesaw. <laughs> Two big old round ass bellies mashed together. I had to rock back to stick it in. Ooh. Then rock forward to kiss her. She <laughs> sixty nine with the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> oh Y'all know when I realized I had to lose weight. Me and my girl, we, you know, getting a little kinky. So I'm rubbing on her breast. I said, ooh, baby, your breast so burn. She rubbing on me. She said, damn, big daddy, your tits ain't bad either. <laughs> so I'm rubbing on her, trying to get in the mood, playing with her, you know, trying to say, oh, shit, boo, you so moist. She rubbing on me. She said, damn, big daddy, your wee-wee so hard. Wee-wee? Hold on, goddamn it. I'm a grown-ass man. This is my house. I pay the bill. She, we in the privacy of our own room, you can call it what it is, it's a dick. She said, no, nigga, I seen a dick. That's a wee wee. <laughs> I know then I had to lose weight, man. That shit was embarrassing. My brother, I mean, got kids. kids. That's right, when they call me a motherfucker, they really mean it. I'm serious, you ever took nine kids shopping? Bad motherfucker, we in Walmart, they just took the shit and grabbed you. Hey! The next child touched them and beat the ass. So I can turn around, good, they go on. I said, pow! Oh shit, excuse me, baby, you ain't even mine. <laughs> yeah, man, we do all kinds of little kinky shit. One Valentine's Day, me and my girl, we gonna get kinky, right? So we decided to go to Victoria's Secret and get the edible panties. Only problem is Victoria's Secret don't sell edible panties. So we had to go to the mall, to that little gag store, and get those edible panties. But look at y'all. Edible panties is this size. My girl is this size. I had to buy 12 boxes of them goddamn panties. <laughs> and then we got home, we had to mush them all together to make one big panty. <laughs> we gonna do the romantic back bubble bath thing, right? So we run this much bubble bath in the tub. Both of us got our big ass in the tub, front of the whole goddamn house. <laughs> I'm sitting on the edge of bed naked waiting for her to come out the bathroom. She done slid on a little head of her panties. And then she put that green shit on her face. I don't know what it was. It was green and lumpy. I thought it was guacamole. <laughs> so when she came to the door, I'm looking at the edible panties and the guacamole, and I'm thinking to myself, midnight snack. <laughs> she said, uh, you ready, big daddy? I said, yeah, I'm ready, baby. So she gonna walk to the bed all sexy like. She come from the bathroom door with the edible panties on. She walking to the bed real sexy, real slow. All you can hear was. Her thighs just rubbing together. <laughs> she done melted all the crotch out the panties. <laughs> Smelled like burnt gummy bags. <laughs> I laid her back, get ready to eat the edible panty. It ain't even an edible panty no more. It's just a big fruit roll-up. <laughs> Don't get me out of my time. Thank you. Cut it off. Cut it off, Bob. Cut it off, I lose some weight, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he should have came out to that shit. I can see him working right now. I'm gonna go corporate. He wet the motherfucker. Ah, get your big ass off. Oh my god, you need that type of music, man, to motivate you, man. Because fat people are, could be some motivated people if they listen to fast music. <laughs> for real, man. Y'all give it up for radio, man. Came out with the time. Funny, man. That's what's up, man. You get me, baby? Huh. Get me, baby. You know, I'm going all the way to the top of this shit, you dig? You know, some motherfuckers in her secret like, that nigga ain't going no fucking way. <laughs> Think I'm getting docked again. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. It's made up, man. For real. We gotta encourage each other, man, because motherfuckers will hate on you, whatever you do, man. For real, straight up. I was at the uh, mall with my son. 
I've been down to tie his shoe up. Some lady told me, he, he think he a real dad. <laughs> and I looked at her and I'm like, bitch, you think you a real mom? She talked to who you talk to? I'm talking about you. People, this is crazy, man. Straight up. People smelling good, too, man. I'm glad I'm finally in the spot to where people are smelling really decent. Because last night I did a spot where everybody was musty. I said, man, this smells like a whole box of some young guy up in this motherfucker. <laughs> For real, man, I feel good about myself when I do good spots like this, man, because it let me know I'm headed somewhere, somewhere. I'm going to get there. <laughs> I'm going to get there. Don't be judging me, man. For real, I'm going to get there. For real. Straight up. I don't give a fuck about y'all getting quiet either, man. That's what I'm going to do. Straight up, man. People, all in their body up, man, with bad skin disease, man, just stay with shea butter. Don't use no Vaseline. For real, because that motherfucker bad skin disease, eczema is running rapid through the motherfucking metropolitan. Everybody got eczema. I'm like, damn, this shit wasn't like this when we was little. Yeah, motherfucker itching and scratching. I ain't realize how bad it was. So I went to bed with this little chick. Man, I felt like I had been asleep with a real life anaconda. And it was dead skin everywhere. I rolled out of her bed. It sounded like I rolled out of bed full of ruffles. I said, what's all this crunchy shit? <laughs> I got in her bathroom, looked in the mirror, and noticed she gave me dance. I said, I'm gonna kill this bitch with all this dry skin in my head. <laughs> my partner's they ain't shit from the neighborhood. They called me like, Mom, we heard what you did. I'm like, what? They're like, nigga, you fuck Kiara? I was like, nigga, I fucked the skin off Kiara. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, it was a skin party in that motherfucker. Y'all having a good time to hear you say, hell yeah? yeah. yeah. If you're having a good time to hear you say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fuck y'all too. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna fuck with me while I'm up here, man. My dude coming up to the stage, man, from all the way from St. Louis, Missouri, doing his thing around town, man, in and out of town. Hey, they fucked up out here in Reverend Ryan unit. Just let you know that when you get up here, they fucked up, man. This dude doing his thing all around town, in and out of town. He throws his own show. He tell y'all about it after he's done doing his thing. Y'all ain't shit, man. Y'all ain't shit, man. For real, come up to the stage, man. St. Louis is on. I want y'all to put y'all hands together for comedian Willie C in the building. Y'all put y'all hands together. Hang up. Entire song. That is a shit. Everybody bad and bougie to National Rhythm and pull up in front of your house and take their shit back. Now you sitting in that front room mad and moody. What a living room set. What's up? This is the uh, nicest uh, schnooks warehouse I've ever performed in. This is the goddamn Sam's factory. I know what's going on. There's all kind of little shit going on in here. It's an abortion clinic, a grocery store, a daycare, a laundry maid. You don't know what the fuck to do when you come here. They got the same same furniture from Shoney's on Grand. Y'all know that they Shoney's on Grand? They got that furniture right here and then all this weekends only shit right here. Give them the $100 seat, y'all bullshit. Straight up, man, for real. I'm like, I gotta, I put it around. I was like, nigga, are you trying to pull me into a, uh, a little, uh, what you call it, uh, a checkpoint? I thought Gordon was working with Olivette. I said, he working with Paisley the other day. You hear me? It's crazy, man. It's nice, man. Where are my, uh, where are my grown people that 25 and older? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm talking about, we had a real Saturday, you know what I'm saying? We used to wake up and do shit like this, like, oh yeah, nigga, cut on them motherfucking TV and then put them cartoons on, nigga. I hey, we gonna watch the Smurfs come in here, get some cereal. I'm telling you, like, like you don't, don't remember shit like that, like, bro. That, that's because them kids, these new kids, they got games and social media and all that shit. Like, Facebook, Facebook will let you know what's going on in somebody's life. Like, just by the names, like, if your name Keisha still standing Jenkins, yeah, somebody be hitting on you. Somebody be hitting on you, somebody be slapping you around. If you're in a domestic relationship, somebody put their hands on you, you don't gotta say nothing. Just do this. Just run up your head. Just, just say he ain't gonna hit on me no more. Y'all not gonna sit here and look at me like I'm y'all real daddy. Uh, if y'all don't take one laugh and pass the rest down. <laughs> for real, for real, man. There's a lot of stuff going on in St. Louis. We got a reality show. Clap it up for that sweetie pie. Clap. Don't clap too hard, because it ain't that good. Hey, you, you gotta take out a goddamn title loan to eat this sweetie virus. 
I had some macaroni and cheese tastes like some drywall bits in there. Like, oh no. I'm just glad the people that's in management is the people that's in management, they not out on the forefront in the restaurant. Like, everybody know Miss Robbie's son, Tim, with them thick ass hips? Yeah, yeah, hey, y'all know Tim, thick ass. No black man should be built like Aretha Franklin. That nigga Tim, thick them motherfucker, man. I'm like, I don't know who know him. That nigga is built like a little bottle of bleach, like real talk, right? Like, ain't no way. Come to take the big old movie, just. I think he used to be a loop dancer, you know what I mean? Just imagine if Tim was a waiter in here right now. They didn't come over the table and knock over six sweet teas with them hips. For real, for real. Yes, man, for real. Anybody mess with Uber? Anybody mess with Uber? My car in the shop, you know what I'm saying? I had to catch a little Uber out of her. This is my thing, man. They need to start running better background checks, like for real. Because it, it was a girl that was my Uber driver, you know what I'm saying? And when she pulled up, she was blowing real aggressively. Like, don't blow in front of my house like that, for real. Like, hey, I ain't paying my month, my, 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 my rent all the way up. Don't be blowing in front of my house, you know what I'm saying? And her, her horn sounded like her. It was like, beep, 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 beep. Like, oh, shit. Uh. And she had a whole little Uber spill, you know what I'm saying? I know I've been getting an Uber just sit down. How you doing? She was like, hey, my name's Sabrisha. You could arrive with me. I heard your name with EC. I was like, whoa. Like, damn. I'm, I'm scared to death. I'm like, oh my God, I'm not going to make it to my destination. <laughs> this is my thing. Everything was cool, you know what I'm saying? But I, you know, I got in and I got, she was like sitting in front of the seat. I was like, wow. She was like, it's my kids and shit in the back. I'm like, what? Like, this ain't bring your kids to work day. She was like, I'm going to look. She was like, I'm going to take you to where you got to go. But we gotta take them to my mama over to Auntie Candace's house. Candace gonna do my hair real quick, but I'm gonna get you where you gotta go. I'm like, you gonna get your hair done too? Oh hell no, man. I'm gonna be late for the more of a show. Hey, was anybody at the show last night? Yeah. Yeah, you hear me? I like how he went from ratchet to classic, you hear me? Yeah, because we did a show in the halfway house last night. <laughs> Like, it was all kind of dope things and shit. That motherfucker was like, like hey, this ain't the same olive right here, man. Straight up, man. I mean, more that's my boy. I remember he was uh, going through some stuff. Uh, and some, like, I think somebody had put him out. I let the nigga live in my glove compartment. Like, here, man, go on. Show me the last cigar, man. <laughs> Straight up, man. One thing about doing this kind of shit, you got to be fly, man. Give it up for the jacket. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Clap, motherfucker, I'm be jealous. I know jealous. You know jealous people can see, you know what I'm saying? You know jealous people. Motherfucker, like, this motherfucker made out of real water bug skin. You got to be fucked up. Jealous. Straight up, man, for real. Give it up for the boy. Make sure you uh, support them that back there serving their sugar. Avery people. Nigga, just, and the colors purple, just. Straight up, man. For real talk. I got a son, my son 13, and I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'm gonna need him to stop using all the good lotion. For real, like, like I can't find, I buy good lotion, so I wanna use good lotion. Go in this room, all the lotion up under the bed, he got a lotion warehouse. He just, this nigga, he, he used so much lotion, he might as well work for Avon. Just, well, I can't find no grease, nigga, just, all his jogging pants in the middle look like he been eating chicken in his lap. Like, why? Wow, is your jogging pants crotch so greasy? <laughs> I'm 35 and I look 22, so I get approached by a lot of young ratchets. You hear me? I like classy women, but it seems like girls that have low income always like me. <laughs> they do, for real. All them guests stay in the JVM, they like me. <laughs> I don't want to mess with you because you live in a JBL. That means just visit and leave. Can't stay at your house in my good car. You know what happened to my Honda Accord in front of your house? <laughs> Somebody is still a title out my shit, you know? <laughs> oh, man. But they like me. And sometimes I like them because they be looking. Like them hood guys, they be looking exotic a little bit sometimes. Like, man, like, I know that my last is too long for her, man. But it's just something about them motherfuckers that make me say, who are you? <laughs> I'ma say this lady. If you hood and you don't have your utilities up to par, stop inviting niggas over your house. Amen. <laughs> if your utilities ain't up to par, stop inviting people over your house. Promise ever. It's cold outside. Your gas ain't off. 
I don't want to come and have sex with you. No, I shouldn't be shivering in it. I don't want to. I don't want to be doing this the whole night while I'm in. You know your gas off. Went over this gear house. As soon as I walked in the door, I knew I knew was some, some crazy stuff going on because all her blinds looked like people had just walked in the house and looking out the window. Like when them blinds ain't together, you know you in a ghetto situation. <laughs> When them blinds chipped up and shit, like why well, all the blinds at the top were cool, but the bottom was just look like you're doing this all day. Y'all been waiting on the ride all day. <laughs> she said, come in, you want some to eat? She 25, it ain't never processed food to her, you know I mean? She like, you want some to eat? I'm like, yeah, go on, give me some to eat. She brought me back some fruit roll-ups, that's some motherfucker, red hot rippers and shit. My blood sugar finna be high as shit. I didn't cook nothing, but you know what I'm saying? I can microwave it. So I bet you can. I'm a grown man. I don't want no damn uh, piece of rolls. <laughs> I said, let's get to what we came for. She said, you want to come in my bedroom? I get in the bedroom. She got seven motherfucking air mattresses stacked up on top of each other. Yeah. Come on, relax yourself. You want me to sit on a stack of waffles and slide them off the floor? How am I going to enjoy sex with you and we keep sliding off these her mattresses? <laughs> I'm like, well, fuck you in the swing around fun time. Like, you know, <laughs> monkey Joes. <laughs> the gas wasn't on. But I'm still in it, though. You know what I mean? I'm in it. Just, I'm, I'm having sex to the sound of 10 space heaters. You know what I mean? I'm in it. I hear it. Shouldn't have to use a North Face condom to have sex with you. <laughs> but I'm still in it. I'm still in it. <laughs> I'm in here like, ooh. But the house was nasty. You heard you got to focus. You know what I'm saying? You got to focus. The house nasty. The room nasty. I'm in here. Ooh. 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 It's a mouse. It's a mouse. Oh my God. It's a mice in the corner. Oh my. Get up here with me. You hear me? Uh uh. This Mice in the corner having a day party, you hear me? <laughs> Three for one on the cheese and everything. <laughs> Look, King, come in the room. Is y'all done yet? What? Uh -huh. Get out of here, little boy, with that cold. <laughs> uh -huh. Straight up. Get that little boy a shot of Mucinex and put him back in bed. People, kids can disrespect. How many people in here got kids and you know they bad and you know they got a little disability and you can't get a check for it, but you don't want to go down to the social worker place? Let you know if you got one of them kids. Okay, just me through. All right. So, okay. See, black people don't want to admit when their kids got something wrong with them. You know what I'm saying? White people get their kids help. Baby legs be all crazy. What we say? Oh, he just don't be bow legged. That's cute. No, it's not. It looks stupid. Your baby walking around like this all their life. No. White people get them kids, them little braces like Forrest Gump had on. <laughs> Black people kids be in second grade so long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? White people get their kids a tutor, Silver Learning Center. What we say? He gonna be cool, he just retorted. That's his daddy's side of the family. <laughs> Think of been in the fifth grade 17 times. Very tired of all these studs buying the 34s. <laughs> every time I go somewhere, I got to go to Old Navy because Candace want to be Keith. And she can go every last part of 34, 32 in the damn lace. Jerry, I got to get some jeans with some goddamn elastic in them. I got to buy the cheap gas station, Cardinal Spinny. Because Renisha want to be Ronnie tonight and buy all the seven and three four fitted caps. Because she want to lay drywall too. Uh, My cousin, she is stood. Tell me, I'm going to be an RN. The only RN you trying to be is a real nigga. Stay in your lane. Oh my God. Buying them all the timbers and shit. <laughs> Squeezing them hips and them jeans. The booty too big for skinny man. <laughs> the studs be so aggressive. Hold on, fam, she with me. 
Can you get me some Balenciaga shoes? You need a transmission. No. Why would I do that in your car? Your car sound like click, 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 click every time you try to go somewhere. No, oh, be grown. But yeah, man, like I said, I do steal from the wall when I'm there. I got hand towels, dishwasher dish with uh, Febreze with extra Febreze, uh, blankets, all that stuff. Cut it off, Jukes. Give it to him one more time, then. Cut it off. Nigga, you think you the shit? Give it to him one more time. Oh, oh. Fucked up, nigga. <laughs> you good that you think you that good? Anything I do, I'm telling you, because people here want to hire you. Hit Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you know that man, boy, that homosexuality shit is fucking crazy around this motherfucker, ain't you? For real, man, that motherfucker is really fucked up, man, for real, because I be saying pregnant women walking with studs. I'm like, man, come on, man, that ain't your baby daddy. <laughs> you all the stilts like that for real? I mean, she tattooed up two muscles big in the motherfucker. I brushed my hands one day just to make sure this bitch is really strong. <laughs> fucked up, baby. So you know it's fucked up, that's why I gotta go, man. It's fucked up. Think about it. Homosexuality. Think about how they really press this shit. They push hard too. It's the only motherfucking city where in June they got a gay parade in July. You can ride a bike naked. <laughs> come on, man, with them pussy. Motherfucking white people wall down Jefferson. Do, 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 do. I'm like, come on, man. Yo, ass and shit, Harry. <laughs> For real, man. I'm glad I know the police officers that be patrolling, man, because one day me and my son. I find it disrespectful because me and my son, we ride like y'all just ride the bikes naked. It's 100 and something degrees. Damn. So I got the gold. I got the green. I went across. He, the motherfucking biker just went on across. Anyway, I hit the back of his car. Boom. Why the fuck these flags be right? I knew him. He came to the window like, nigga, you a fool. Why you do that? He's like, man, they just all were riding. So I looked through the rear view. His ass coming up to my car. Damn you. I have to ride away. I said, get your naked ass away from my window. <laughs> Motherfucking son of 15, you tripping. <laughs> Straight up. Homosexuality is fucked up in our community around the world, man. They going hard. I went to go fill out an application and had to get an interview to be a trash man. So I'm in the lobby and I'm looking at Sue and I'm like, I didn't know this. He ain't here for the same job. So he, I go in. Then hey, I come back out, he told me to sit right there and then do it with him. I'm like, man, this dude cannot be, what is he gonna be on a computer or something? <laughs> at the Wolfpunk corporate office. Can you believe they hired him? I said, man, what the fuck he gonna be doing? <laughs> Being a trash, man. I'm talking about he gay all outdoors. Told me that I was suffering from um uh <laughs> hypermasculinity. I'm like, what the fuck is hypermasculinity? So, you're too masculine. I said, to be a trash man. I said, I hope this motherfucker don't be all out of my motherfucker front door one day getting my trash. <laughs> Boy, man, I'm gonna throw all shots at his ass. Get back! <laughs> Homosexuality, man. Y'all having a good time? Remember, you say, hell yeah. yeah. Coming up to the stage, man, originally from St. Louis, moved to Atlanta a few years ago, man. So we came all the way down here, man, from the A to come show some love to the fifth element of the hip hop comedy show. Very funny dude. I want y'all to put y'all hands together for weight ball in the building. Y'all We good. We good. Oh, thank DJ. you. Thank you, man. Thank you. I haven't changed my music in like all the ratchet shit. Trying to stop selling dope, change my life over. And the music just gonna put you back in the streets. <laughs> you know I tried selling dope, I failed horribly. For real, there was too many rules in the dope game. First rule, they talking about don't get high on your own supply. Who else dope am I supposed to smoke then? <laughs> if you can't trust your own dope, what is the world coming to? <laughs> so I'm saying, man, I failed at this shit. <laughs> Man, like I said, I grew up, grew up right around the corner, actually, from you city. Grew up in a booth, right around the corner. You hit this 82nd Street with all types of crackheads and shit over there. Kind of shit up. I grew up over here, man. I come back in town, you know, I try to eat the stuff I grew up on. I try to go to Emo's, right? All my people stay out of North County now. I go to that Emo's on Halls Ferry and Chambers. Man, oh, no. they fucking up some pizza over there. You, you call your pizza and you gotta tell them like steak. You be like, I need a well done. Me, 
<laughs> no blood, nigga, no blood on my pizza. I want to wear a blood meat. That pizza be so limp all stuck to the box. Yeah. I'm like, this is the thinnest lasagna. I didn't ask for lasagna, nigga. I need that crispy. I go to Emo, I'm like, Emo selling expensive pizza. They pizza cost $17. Everybody else paying $7 for pizza. Everybody else got $7. I'm like, your pizza cost 10 more dollars than everybody else in the city, nigga. I need my crust. Cracker Crisp. Am I wrong with that? I'm already paying team more dollars than I would normally pay. Damn. I'm out here, man. I'm going over there. I'm going over there. Man, like I say, this year, man, I, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the life. This year, I've really been out here eating healthier. The nigga been eating more salads and shit. <laughs> oh, you just laughing. This ain't no joke. I told you, I'ma tell you about my life. We not joking yet. Nigga, clap for a big nigga eating salad. <laughs> you, about my life. you see, I struggle with this. <laughs> Hell, I be marking them on the calendar. I done had my 400 salad today. <laughs> That's more salads than they eat this year. I done ate more salads than they. I'm up on my salad. <laughs> Now, I ain't even gonna lie to you. About half of them was potato salad. Now, about half of them was potato salad. I ain't even gonna stun it. But I've been eating my potato salad healthy. I put the potato salad on a bed of lettuce. I garnish it with some more green sprigs and stuff. I'm talking about this is almost healthy. Why I put the red dressing on top, man? I've been eating salads, though, man. Man, y'all done made it out on a Sunday. Give it up for yourselves. Looking all good. I came out just like a senior. I'm going to up on a Sunday. Man, I know if y'all anything like me, some of these outfits started on the clearance rack. Come on, clearance rack in the building. Come on, somebody on that clearance rack. Because I know every time I get to the clearance rack, it is fucked up. Somebody been there. All the clothes on the floor. Somebody else been on that clearance rack. Now. Right. Come on, you ain't even got to spend a million dollars to look like a million dollars now, bro. Man, that clearance rack had me buying shit I don't even need sometimes. For real, I'm going to keep it real. The other day, I done came out of Macy's with a brand new polo shirt. I'm talking about the one with the whole horse head on it. You see these with the comb the horse hair? I'm telling you, that brand new, brand new 1X polo shirt. Can you see me what I'm going to do with a 1X polo shirt? Man, I tell you what I did, I tied that thing around my neck. <laughs> she went out to the little miniature golf course, I was sure I was in. Getting all type of compliments. People was kind of confused, though. They were like, bro, that is the nicest long sleeve polo scarf I have ever seen in my life. And he and he, I got it off the clearance back, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Man. Clearance back had me buying all type of stuff. Man, the other day, same day. I done came off with a three pack of baby onesies. I ain't got no babies at the house. But these onesies were just sitting on the rack 75% off. I had to take them home with me. Right? And I'm saying, in Atlanta, I stay in a kind of rough neighborhood. With them women in the hood, that baby onesie go a long way. Let me tell you, bro. I'm telling you. I gave the girl a three pack of onesies. She's like, oh my God, you done bought my baby three outfits? I say, hell yeah, I did. I love that little kid. I love that little boy, little what's the name? That little what's the name is such a sweet kid. Man, shit is crazy, man. Kids coming up crazy. You got some kids, you take care of kids, make some noise for yourself. These kids coming up kind of slow now. Kind of slow. They don't read like we used to. I'm gonna take you back a little. I seen some old heads in the crowd back in the day. We used to have to read just to eat candy. Mm -hmm. Right? Y'all remember Bazooka Joe, don't you? Yeah. Come on, we got Bazooka Joe just for the comic strip. <laughs> Nigga, it sure wasn't for the flavor. <laughs> Come on, right? That's back when bubblegum only had one flavor. It was just bubblegum. <laughs> right? All of it was the same. It was pink. It had the white powder all on the outside. <laughs> Like, what the hell was that white powder? I don't know. I uh, had you coming back. You're like, I need that bazooka. <laughs> I need that damn bazooka. Where my bazooka? Yeah, boy, I snap on the nigga over that gun. What was on that white powder? I don't know, man. Man, kids dealing with stuff we never had to go through, man. They got this new disease. Everybody got it. The little AD, 
H-I-J-K L-M-N-O-P. I'm telling you, little kid got more letters than they diagnosis than I ever seen. Man, it was crazy, man. And you know, it's like, we just came up on a holiday. Y'all had a good holiday, good Thanksgiving? Christmas coming up, y'all still, I, who still eating turkey with your ass? <laughs> we, somebody needs to throw away that shit in their refrigerator. Still got greens, thinking up your refrigerator. Go on, get rid of them greens. You ain't right. Man, I like the holidays. I just don't like these fake ass stories we tell the people. Right, we just had Thanksgiving. I think we should rename it Thanksgiving. Right, ain't that what them pilgrims did? Just took everything? You know what I'm saying? We need to rename the holiday and tell the real story. Right, real story is pilgrims was the first janky people ever to step foot on America. That's what they need to tell the kids. They're like, once a time, it was a janky nigga named Pilgrim. And they came over to Thanksgiving dinner uninvited and didn't bring shit. That's the that's definition of a janky ass nigga. You had somebody over your house. This, 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 this past holiday didn't bring shit. When they come over like this old Pilgrim ass nigga. I'm telling you, we need to start calling them out, calling them Pilgrim. That's the lowest form. That's, you can call me a nigga, we might still be cool. You call me a pilgrim. I'm like, oh, meet me outside, nigga. I'm going to show you this pilgrim life, nigga. You don't play me. Sam, man. The jankiest people, they try to kill all the Indians. Keep it real, you can't find a full-blooded Indian. They're nowhere. In America, you want to see an Indian, you got to go to a museum. For real, they don't make no real Indians no more. For real. It's like they mythical creatures. If I see a real Indian right now riding a unicorn, I'm like, nigga, fuck that horse you on. Nigga, you an Indian. Nigga, fuck that funny looking horse. Nigga, you an Indian. Nigga, for real. Shit. Shit is crazy, man. Christmas, that's another crazy story, right? Saying we got to bring kids up, right? You can't tell them the white man going to come give them something for free, right? Especially not no old white man. Hey, you mess with old white men? They ain't giving you nothing. You know, I'm just saying, man, we teach them wrong. I can see, like, you know, if Santa Claus, if I go to my Christmas tree and it's like a 25 to life sentence underneath, that sounds like some old white man comes out off at your door, right? Right? But nothing you want. Right? I just need the real story. Let me know the real Santa Claus story. They tell you what this nigga doing one night after year. Christmas Eve, what the hell? That's 365 days in the year. What the hell else going on on the North Pole? Only way you're gonna get the story is ask Mrs. Claus. You know, she's gonna tell it all. She's like, that nigga be fucking them hells. I don't blame him. Keep it real, fellas. If you up in the North Pole all that time, you're gonna try some elf pussy sooner, lady. Yeah. I'm just saying, in my mind, elf pussy gotta be tight. Probably tastes like sugar cookies. I'm just saying, bro, ain't nobody gonna keep it real. Somebody gonna eat some elf pussy with me. Man, you see, I'm trying to get my life together, y'all. I, I struggle with this. I do. I've been going to church lately. Anybody make it to church today? Yeah. All right. Amen. Amen. Can't tell you no, none of what the story was, though, can you? They've been going to church networking. I'm like, yeah, I met up with homeboy, got the little business, and we, you know, we exchanged cards and, you know, shook hands with the deacon, you know. Man. I like going to church because when I go, I be wanting to hear them untold Bible stories. Right, you go all the time, they give you a lot of stories, they give you the best stories about Jesus, and that makes total sense, it's all about him. But then you get some stories about Mary, okay, I feel that. They ain't got one good story for Joseph. <laughs> Not one good story in the Bible about Joseph now. I mean, this is Jesus' stepdaddy, right? I think he did something, I know he had to do something. Uh -huh. Right, women, y'all always say, it takes a real man to raise another man kids. <laughs> Imagine raising the son of God, right? <laughs> Joseph had to be the realest man in the Bible. Right? Come on now. We ain't got one story. I just want to know that one story where Joseph had to go up in Jesus' preschool and act a fool. You know, you, every one of y'all done been up in y'all son preschool if you got a son. If you was raising Jesus, it wouldn't have been no different. You know, Jesus done came home with a black eye one day. He done messed around, got in a fight, turned the cheek one too many times. It happened to everybody, right? You know, Joseph ain't standing for that. If you babysitting God's son, you ain't gonna stand. You up and I walk up in that preschool like, nigga, I will smite every last one of y'all in his name. In his name, I will smite every last nigga in this preschool. 
if y'all don't get it together. You don't know who this boy is. I'm saying, you know Joseph was acting a fool in that preschool. Yeah. Right? But he don't get no credit. Right? I feel like one thing, I know, I love Jesus. I'm going to first say that. I'm going to just keep it real with you now. One thing I love about him is how humble he was. Got all the power in the world. He's like, no, nah, man, don't do it. I'm just, you know, like y'all niggas be flexing in the club for no reason. Jesus be like, no, nah, go ahead, bro. I ain't going to kill you right now. I kill you. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> right, he ain't going to do that. I know he learned that from his daddy. I know he learned that from his daddy. He ain't learned that from his mama. Come on, women. If your baby daddy is God, you can't teach no boy how to be humble. Bro, you ain't gonna have a humble bone in your body if your baby daddy is God. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Somebody be like, girl, I think your slip's showing. They're like, bitch, you can't tell me shit. You know who my baby daddy is? Don't speak to me. If any one of y'all baby daddy was God, y'all would be in a whole new VIP session on high. Wouldn't he, he wouldn't be sitting on the floor. I'm just saying, I don't think Mary had it that hard, for real. I mean, let's keep it real. Mary, baby daddy was God, right? I know God ain't no deadbeat dad. <laughs> Y'all been to church, this is the part where you say amen at. It's like testimony time now. We're going to do it again. Now, I know God ain't no deadbeat dad. Amen. All right. Now, I will say that child support might not come when you want it. <laughs> right? Right? As you already know, it's what? It's always on time. I'm just saying, Mary was taken care of out there. She wasn't struggling. Not for one day. For real, man. I just think Joseph had it hard, for real, man. I just be studying and I'm like, you know, some of y'all fellas could probably, probably vouch for this, right? Maybe you dating a woman now with a woman. Her ex-boyfriend was rich. She already been bought everything, right? It's hard to compete. I'm saying, man, I'm pretty sure on one of Mary's birthdays, you know, Joseph trying to show out. He gonna come around with a new shroud, a new shawl or something. Mary looked at that boy like, Man, my baby daddy made the sunrise, Jojo. You better step your game up, come around with these little gifts on my birthday. He made the sunrise. Get it together. Saying, man, he had it hard. And I'm going to go with this. Just leave you with this. I'm going to go all the way. Y'all know they had kids after Jesus. If you don't know, read the Bible, go to church a couple more times, you'll figure it out. They had other kids. So they had to have sex, right? I'm just saying, we already said Joseph was the realest brother in the Bible. Every real man gonna try to hit that good spot one time with his woman. Real brother, real brother, he okay, he okay. I'm just saying, one time, you know, Joseph trying to hit that good spot. He hit that good spot first thing out of Mary's mouth. Oh, God. Oh, he like, this is Joseph up in here. Don't you dare call nobody else's name. I'm trying my best, Mary. It's Joseph. My name is Joseph. Man. You know what I'm just saying, man. My brother had it hard. Oh. I know that's a little stress for y'all. Some of y'all went to church and, and you ain't ready for that one yet. That, <laughs> it might still be a nighttime service. We could all catch and repent. Anybody who laughed with me, we might have had the midnight vigil, prayer vigil. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna hold y'all up too much. I didn't want to give you a public service announcement. I had another brother talking about, you know, you know when you're a big brother. And I understand that. You see, I'm a big brother. I live that life. But you really know you're a big brother when all you motherfuckers always tell me. I just come out the bathroom. I don't know this nigga from nobody. First thing out his mouth, what's up, big dog? <laughs> so, nigga, why I can't just be dog? Uh -huh. Fuck, you gonna call my worst attribute out when you see me? Uh -huh. I can't just be your dog. Uh -huh. All my people I know in the family like, big homie, big homie. I'm like, I can't just be homie. Oh yeah. I go to the bar, they're like, what can I get you, big man? How about some respect? <laughs> How about just a little respect, y'all? <laughs> y'all silly, Y'all been a wonderful crowd, man. My name is Wade Ball. Catch me on Instagram, Facebook, all that. You know, actually, I do got some little giveaways. I got these wristbands. I wear one. They actually say, I'm living proof. My God ain't no dead be daddy. Amen. So, uh, I got something for you. I've been giving them away. I take a little donation, but 
You know, when you tell the truth, you can't charge for the truth. People just gotta feel it on their soul. Uh, just give me what you're living with, brother. Just, you know, figure it out. Let the Lord lead you. That's all I'm saying. Y'all get a wonderful crowd, man. Give it up for your host one more time. Before I go out the day, I'm gonna. Give it up away, Bob. One more time, man. Funny shit, man. Funny. Hey, ain't mine go up because church motherfuckers be. They, they gon' judge you. I can't believe he even said that. <laughs> Take your ass on, man. You're gonna be at the board next week. <laughs> Buying this shit, man. Pastors playing motherfucking games. Any motherfucker wears when your bills get cut off, nigga, you gotta call Uncle Pete. <laughs> Uncle Pete, man, you where you at? I'm at the firehouse. What you want, nigga? <laughs> you got some man my that should be a cut off. Call Pastor Jones. That shit picking up. <laughs> Bullshit, man. I ran into a bootleg pastor the other day. I ain't lying. He gave me his business card. His name was Pastor Auburn. <laughs> so man, how you get a name like this? Pastor Auburn, he gonna give me his card. I said, man, I'm kind of shaking before I'm taking this motherfucker. Yeah, so he said, I got a bag, got a bag full of Bibles. I said, for real, because I threw my other Bible away. It was a King James. Don't worry about that, little brother. I said, oh, what you got? He gave me a blue dead Bible. I opened it up. It didn't even say Genesis. It said Genesis. I said, this nigga, alcohol. I sold this damn Bible. I went to flip to the New Testament. It was Jesus with a Sean John hoodie on. I was like, that's my nigga. That's my nigga, man. For real. You got to watch subjects, man, because people just really, you know, be killing me. I'm saying to myself, marriage, or when? <laughs> when he coming on, you know a man, a man to find a wife, a woman to find a good thing. I can't tell my uncle been married to his wife for 50 years and the bitch found him. <laughs> 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 what you mean? Did I say that? <laughs> Real, man. I'm playing games. <laughs> <laughs> I have to there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought it wasn't no cursing on your show. It just, uh, the content been clean, man. You could just tell a little few things. Don't y'all be up in church getting a holy dance, holy go. <laughs> Real people be killing me, man. My friends, you gonna go visit my church? Where is that? Jubilee on Grand. I said, right there by the tower? No, oh. then you won't be going there. <laughs> what time to start? It's a late night service. Nope, I'm going to the 7 o'clock with you. I'm not going there. Real Jubilee. It's <laughs> Man, church of hope, hope, hope. Church, church of hope. <laughs> oh man, these people crazy. But I be laughing at them too, man. Especially when I be coming across, I be dating, coming across the Christian women. I be like, man, come on, man, without it. Jesus, my Christ and Savior. Who saved you? My ancestors. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? You can't even get into deep conversation with them. Well, if you flip to um, the New Testament, if you flip to the Old Testament, that's different. You can't even be going there no more. How you talking about you a Christian and you, you can't be in the Old Testament. You can't be doing that. Sit back. Stop trying to <laughs> take me to school. Get the fuck home to my woman. Straight up, man. That's why I fuck with black women. I love black power. I love her legs. I love how she stand. You know what I'm saying? I don't know me. No, I'm telling you what I do. I'm 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 a teacher. I'm a teacher. So, like, like, gone. And shouts out to the people that study inbox me trying to make fun of me. Fuck you. You ain't got no better stupid to inbox me and mess with me. Fuck you. Go back home. <laughs> Why you ain't telling me about your show with your big T bags? I say, bitch, I just say all my braces. <laughs> hey, being in white, what the fuck wrong with you? You just gonna put me out there like that, really, bitch? And they don't know. <laughs> Inbox me again, girl. Y'all ain't got any people. It's miserable. You come to my show and just sit down and laugh. Don't even inbox me playing with me. Because they don't, you know, we won't have a conversation about that. Straight up. <laughs> Real, man. Looking at the people over here, looking at the middle, looking right here. And um, we down to one last comment. Y'all been enjoying yourself. Give it up all the comedians y'all seen. Real, man. Real. Thank y'all for coming out, man. Y'all got free drinks. We have food, man. The place is pitch black. <laughs> <laughs> My pops said, damn, the theater door. I said, man, this will feel your way through. <laughs> Straight up, man. For real. Straight up, man. But nah, though, we're down to the last comic, man. We're going to keep this thing rolling, man. My dude, man, for real. Funny as a mug, he came through me and said, Marvin, I got you. I said, man, you ain't got to keep on saying my name. Marvin. I said, man, don't keep on calling me motherfucking name like that. Every time I call, what's up, Marvin? I said, man, you trying to be funny? 
Then he get to talking about me and mimicking me. Man, this is my dude, man. Last night we did a whole lot of times. He came through and showed some love, man. And also, shouts out to the big homie JB in the building, the Ducci, man. Y'all clap it up for him. But come through some business with Brody. That's what's up, man. For real. All the way from DC, man. Funny as a motherfucker, man. He gonna come up here and show y'all what he do. He does this thing full time, man. He came to show some love to the fifth element of hip hop comedy show. All the way from DC, I want y'all to put y'all hands together for Lawrence. Oh, it's in the building. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Maybe it's like this because they're trying to set it. Hold on a second. I don't get it, man. Everybody been quiet all show. I get on the stage. Let's start our conversation now. No, he only came from like one time zone away. Fuck it. Why is this nigga trying to do a comedy show doing our conversation? How rude of him. I'm going to show him how we do it in the loop. <laughs> Quiet the whole show, I get over here from here, he don't understand. <laughs> Let's get loud and just dare me say something. Say we from Walnut Park, see if he know about that. Uh -huh. Right. I don't know if he know about King's Highway, but tell him about Walnut Park. He don't be here all night. Right. You, you, you from Jennings, you ain't even shut the fuck up. You don't know what Jennings is. Just shut up. Tell that nigga Walnut Park and you say shells. Tell that nigga Walnut Park. <laughs> Walnut Park. All right, that's where to go. Oh, okay. You don't know about Walnut Park, nigga. <laughs> 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 Kill me, man. All that means is that when somebody is loud like that beside you, is they're not grateful for being here in 2017. This is not. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Just relax. I work at my pace, babe. I'm, I'm, it's gonna be funny. <laughs> I was gonna say how long she gonna stay on the phone. That's why I kept looking over for you and her. <laughs> See? Why are you coming here to get on the phone? That don't make sense either. <laughs> but when I say something, I'm the bitch ass nigga. Sometimes I'm like, oh. But that's rude because it's dark in here. Like, I pay the fucking. We know you pay the bill. Come on, now, why would you? That don't even make no damn sense. And they wonder why was she giving a presentation at work and everybody else, uh, hey, rude in my job. Nigga, that's called karma. <laughs> I'm gonna be on your phone. I gotta check on my kids. Then why would you leave me with somebody you gotta check on? <laughs> that excuse don't work. I gotta check on my kids. But why would you make that decision to have a person watch them and you gotta come to a comedy show and text during the show in a dark ass, spoken word ass environment? <laughs> This shit look like a seance. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? They don't sacrifice me. Get this nigga, man. Uh, what is the password, Fedolio? That is the password. Uh, That's how it is. Now, now she and her feelings, now nothing is funny. You know what I'm saying? You know, still on her phone. See, that's the thing, black women. Then you wonder why, you know, you don't get, like, Jobs of empowerment because the attitude is like that. Imagine her as the president of the United States and she on the fucking, we at war. But she like, hold on. You know, the phone, I paid the fucking bill. I, 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 can you address the, I'm gonna get to them in a second shift. See, ladies, that's why. That's, and, and I love black women too, but that's why y'all don't get into shit. Because when y'all get y'all little attitude, can't nobody handle that. Y'all have attitudes and y'all now you wanna get loud. Oh, I ain't tripping, but you are. You still on the fucking phone. You are tripping. I, I know you're not, Mama. I know you came to a comedy show saying that you ain't tripping. It's fine. I get it. I up loud. I know when I was 12, I got touched by my uncle. We gotta hear all this shit. I know. I know. I know, I know Mama. I know. I know. You won. You won. Blah blah blah. You you finished now? No, are you finished? No, I'm not. I got some more time left. Let me get to it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going, brother, but that's the whole point. And thank you, man. Cause, cause, cause I'm telling you, because right now, it's, it's, it's a soft ass dude in here who got us back. We gonna fuck him up. Why you mad at me, brother? I'm not the one that's upset. 
that, but that's my whole point about us as a people. You can't say that to us when we wrong. Come on, now laugh this shit off, man. Right. That just that lets me know, honestly, something going on with you that you're looking to take it out of somebody else. Now, ladies, if y'all angry like that, it's probably from a lack of dick in your life. I'm just saying. I'm not saying it hurt. I'm just saying per se. I'm saying per se. Now, if you a bad woman, maybe. I'm just saying. Because I've seen the women in here with dick. They're not angry as women. <laughs> they ain't talking about me, baby. And I can jack you all over the table. <laughs> it seems like with women, no dick. I'm just saying. It's in the Bible. Know your Bible, St. Louis. It's in the Bible, brother. It says, Thou shalt not be blessed with no dick if, if thy attitude is stinking. Ah. Say it the Lord. The Lord said this. It's in the red letters. <laughs> Fix thy attitude and dickens shall be blessed upon thee. Don't you want dickens to be blessed upon thee? Let thy rod and thy staff comfort thee. Now you know that's in the Bible. <laughs> the fuck is you mad for, man? Nigga, we all have been through it. I don't even fuck who you are in here. Amen. We supposed to laugh about it, because if you don't, you're going to cry about it. Amen. And ladies, soon as y'all start crying, y'all going to get an inbox full of dick pics. I'm telling you, these niggas don't give a fuck. Some of y'all been through the neighborhoods y'all been through. Some of y'all ex-gang members. I know there's a couple blood women in here, and then you're going to get sensitive at a comedy show. You done murdered your high school teammate and now you are, who would it say? You don't know me. What you get sent to the mouth for? <laughs> you grew up in St. Louis, you want to be a strong bitch. Fuck that nigga. Nah, that nigga fire. That's how I'm going to be. What a dick in. Bring the dick in. <laughs> but you, you don't know me. <laughs> Fuck, man. Terrible. Nah, and fellas, we gotta do a better job. Cause see, ladies, that's the problem, man. You say you want a man to be a man, and then soon you try to be a man, you don't want that. You gotta tell us what you want. Well, you need to figure it out. Bitch, I ain't figuring out shit. Because men think differently for women. We the opposite of y'all. I don't make us bad people. Just understand what we want. This is the first thing y'all think. Y'all take it the wrong way. All y'all trying to do is fuck. That's true, but that's the best way for us to communicate with you through fucking. Because when we talking, y'all don't listen to us, so if I fuck you, you'll understand what I'm talking Because men are physical creatures, right or wrong, fellas. That's how we best talk through physicality, right or wrong. When you fucking the shit out of him, he's saying, I like you. Ah, he must like me, because my motherfucking spine bent to the left, so he must. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Let men be men, ladies. That's all I'm saying. Understand what you're working with. Men ain't shit. We know that. Offer a solution. <laughs> don't call us out and then don't fix the problem. That, that don't make sense. That's like you tell the baby, ah, ah, but then don't say why. He gonna go back and do the shit. <laughs> you ever have your son put his finger toward, toward the side? Ah, ah, he just gonna look. <laughs> ah, ah, what, why I can't do this? Explain it to me. Just ah, ah, nigga. Just explain why he can't put his finger in the side. He's gonna go, ah, ah. As soon as you leave, ah, ah, I tell you, don't put your goddamn finger in the socket. It's too late now. That's <laughs> how like your son ended up being retarded because he didn't put his fingers in the fucking socket. <laughs> Nigga, 10 years old, reading on a kindergarten level, and then you blaming men for that. Fuck out of here, man. His father ain't around. That's why he's retarded. He got shit to do with it. <laughs> Stop it with the excuses. See, ladies, stop categorizing men in the same all shit banter. That's where y'all make a mistake. Because my ain't shitness is different from his ain't shitness, which is different from mama's ain't shitness. You understand? But when y'all say men ain't shit, that's giving me a pass. Think about it, because it's all about what you willing to deal with, right or wrong. But like, he might be the type to sleep with you and sleep with your coworker. Like, he ain't shit for that. <laughs> but I might be the type to fuck you and go through your purse. Now, what you want to do? <laughs> See that? All of a sudden, you fucking another girl ain't that bad, is it? She is she, Just don't do that, because she's new, and I understand. Put my baby. You would rather that because you got too much pride to say you let a nigga rob you. Come on, man. I'm from St. Louis. 
Because your girlfriend going to clown you. You let that fat nigga with glasses go, oh, baby, stop it. You don't know me. just as much as y'all do, but sometimes y'all don't acknowledge that. Like, we appreciate you, yeah, cook, clean, take care of the kids. Clap it up for them for that, fellas. Please clap it up for them. See, we appreciate that. But men sacrifice, too. Now, here's a man's sacrifice if y'all didn't know. Here's our sacrifice. We have to defend you when you are wrong. 
That's the biggest sacrifice ever. When you on that bullshit, when you texting doing comedy show, when you yelling out for no reason, we have to defend that. Especially when you fuck yet. Because in order for any relationship to be successful, it's contingent upon the woman being happy, not the man, right or wrong. If you're not happy, the world ain't happy. That's his job to make you happy, whatever it is. Y'all go up to eat, you can go to Red Lobster and they bring a salad to the table and she be like, take it back, it's cold. You trying to explain to her, all the salads are cold. I don't give a fuck, take it back, it's cold. So you gotta stand up in the middle of Red Lobster. Who the fuck put these cold ass tomatoes on my baby plate, these motherfucking, she got sister ass teeth. Who just bring the, bring the cook out here, I'm gonna this motherfucking. You gotta fight the cook in the middle of Red Lobster for her. Because when women are wrong, we have to say we're wrong to make y'all right, or it's all wrong. Right or wrong. Y'all forget about that aspect, ladies. Men are very shallow. Whatever we say, we're shallow like physically and we're shallow emotionally. Whatever we say is what it is. Stop seeking depth when there is none. That's why y'all get frustrated with us. If we say something, that's it. Don't try to overanalyze it. Ben want to go to the store, the store, the store. <laughs> you tell the shit the night the store. Why is he going to the store? Oh, come on, man. I just want to get some toilet, toilet paper. Toilet paper. Does toilet paper wipe my soul? Does he? <laughs> Whatever we say is what it is. Y'all have been through this before. She's like, boo, what you want for your birthday? Well, I just want my dick sucked and watch the game. No, you don't. You want to go to Cancun and then approve to Puerto Rico and then over to Europe. So now you on a carnival cruise line looking like, she's like, what's wrong with you? I told you all I wanted was my dick sucked and watch the game. Why you don't appreciate shit I do? You don't know me. So now you gotta apologize to her, like, baby, my fault for not making about you on my birthday. How, how, I'm wrong. I was born today, but it's about you, my bad. And that 18,000 you took out of my account to play on my birthday, don't worry about it. It only took me seven, I got another seven years to make that back up. Fuck that joint account, take it all out of mine, boo. You the best, you the best. Oh my God. Oh. But what do they say? Yeah, be real. You don't want real, ladies, because men don't have tact for delivering the truth. We do not. If you find out for real why you're mad with you, then you be all in your feelings and he got to deal with that shit. You don't want to hear that oh. shit. You really want that nigga to say because you got a fat ass and I like fucking bitches in the butt. You really want him to say that's why he with you? You do not. <laughs> because what y'all don't understand is this, ladies. Y'all don't want a nigga to play games, but you force us to play your game. That's what y'all don't realize. Don't play games with me, but yet play my game. <laughs> like, for instance, I gotta act like I give a fuck about your son to get close to you, because that's the game that needs to be played. That's not my child, but if I don't get in good with him, I damn sure don't got a chance with you, because that's what you say. If a nigga don't get close to my cane, my everything, my all right, what a nigga ask for? I gotta come out and play that fake defense. Like, let me see you cross him a little bit. Oh, boy. oh, he broke my ankle. That oh my god. Oh that's no. A little fat diabetic ass little boy ain't going to the NBA, but I got to say he do, cause I ain't fucked you yet. Oh no. You think I'm going to the league, Mr. Lawrence? Man, the way your titty shape when you dribble, man, the lead, I'm telling you, the way you stab your insulin in your thighs and you can go left. My God. No. Thanks, Mr. Lawrence. Hey, no problem, man. Your boy, yeah, he wheezing and everything. Yeah, they need somebody wheezing in the league. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it don't make us bad people. Uh -huh. See, bro, I, I, I'm proud of you because you've been laughing all night. I guarantee if the life is on, it's one nigga that got to look to his woman for permission to laugh. I guarantee it. That nigga laugh. Come on, that one was No, I wasn't. Fuck that nigga in there, bitch. You fuck that nigga. You from Lord Nut Park. Tell that nigga. I mean. Can we laugh, ladies? That's all I'm saying. Let us laugh. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, 
No one can touch a woman's game. Y'all know that. So stop getting mad when somebody else want to play the game. Here's what make y'all game better than us, ladies. Here's what makes y'all game better than us. It, it's, it's that. This. It's your job to get as much as us from us that you can without giving up the pussy. There you go. And it's a man's job <laughs> to do all that we can but not too much so we can get some pussy. Well, you got to work for it, though. See? <laughs> so, I know that, mama. But here's my thing. Now, answer this for me. Have you ever, sweetheart, have you ever let a man do for you knowing you wasn't going to sleep with him? Hell yeah. Thank you. That's the game that men can't touch. Every nigga in here has spent millions on bitches and ain't fuck yet. You can, you can fake like you a pimp if you want to, nigga. I'm in the hole now, nigga. I'm, I got eight bank accounts closed because I'm fucking around trying to impress women when I didn't have it. I get it. That's what you sign up for, fellas. That's what you got to do. You buy her a brand new washer and dryer and pull that bitch up eight flights of steps because her elevator out. This motherfucker knew her elevator was out. <laughs> and you gotta walk it across her carpet. You ever walk some across a thick ass carpet because you can't slide it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you put it up in the corner and you be like, as <laughs> soon you put it up in the corner and get feet like, so what's up? She's like, let me see if it work or not. Bitch, it's brand new, you know it worked. You know what? I was gonna ready to fuck you but your mouth. You shouldn't have said that. You was not gonna give me no pussy and you knew it. You waited for anything. And when she fold her robe with no belt, just leave. When she fold her robe with no belt, pussy hanging up, it's time for you to go because I was gonna ready to fuck you but your mouth. You done talk too much. You, you was not. You know you wasn't. You know you wasn't. <laughs> Always make excuses that got nothing to do with the sex. <laughs> you butt ass nigga with a rub on your dick, what's up? Somebody let a pit bull loose out. Bitch, that don't got nothing to do with the fuck going on. You live on the eighth floor, I know, but if pit bulls is in our alley, it's no, come on, that don't got nothing. Ah. <laughs> I swear to God, hurry up and cut these lights off. I want to see the people who not laughing. I can't see nobody in this motherfucker. Them the ones who life in shambles. If you walk by me and don't look at me, I'm just gonna go, ah. <laughs> I hate this ass mommy. Don't bring that bitch ass nigga back. Truth telling ass. What a little big joke said. Bring that. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, any questions? <laughs> well, I can't see nobody hand raised anyway, but look. <laughs> y'all keep supporting this, man. Every first Sunday, my man, Marvin, man. When y'all get a chance, hit me on the Instagram under Owens Ordeal. You take your phone now, take your phones out. <laughs> now, you gotta enjoy y'all Yeah! That's what's up. We're gonna do this every first motherfucking Sunday right here with DC's, man. The fifth element of hip hop comedy show. I am your host, comedian Marvin Day. We got some other cats coming from out of town, man. And they gonna book me where they stay at. And we gonna get it in. That's what's up. Um, but more, we gonna come back over here and close this motherfucker out. I am your boy. If you don't know me, you can follow me on Facebook, Comedian Marvin Davis. On Instagram, Comedian Marvin Davis. Follow your boy for real, because I'm on my way to the top. Don't think I'm gonna be getting in, because I get it in. Like Will C said, I know his show. Uh, January 20th, I'm featuring on that show. I got those tickets for sale, man. Inbox me. We can get the tickets early. You ain't got to wait till you get your taxes. <laughs> Battle my books early, man. I am y'all host, man. I love y'all on purpose, man. Comedian Warby Davis. I'm Warby, bring it up to the top, my dude. Y'all give it up for him, man. Thank you. And my girl in the building, I ain't see her because it's so dark. The president will wake up Judah, man. Tara in the building, man. She does a lot of work. Y'all give it up for her, too, man. Uh, it's a great show. Right on for all the comedians. Great job, man. Good, good show. Uh, I want to get everybody to say this with me because this is the campaign. Stand up comedy is hip hop. Can I get everybody to say that one time? We on camera. It's gonna be live. Uh, can I get everybody to say it on three? We gonna say stand up comedy is hip hop. Okay. One, two, three. Stand up comedy is hip hop. So, great show. We'll be back to uh, January second. The very first Sunday of every month, it's going to be a live, live show we bring in the new year, y'all. So thank y'all for uh, ending this one. We're going to start it off in uh, 2018. We're going to kill it. We're going to kill it for y'all, all right? Come on.